Ideal gases. We'll start with the kinetic molecular theory and then several topics here on the ideal gas law and its calculations, then gas density, partial pressure, and Graham's law of effusion. The kinetic molecular theory. The kinetic molecular theory was developed by Ludwig Boltzmann in the late 1800s. It is based on the idea that matter is made up of particles, atoms or molecules, that are too small to be seen. His idea was rejected by most scientists until the early 1900s, just over 100 years ago. This theory connects the world of atoms and molecules with the macroscopic world around us and helps us understand the behavior of gases. It uses five postulates to explain the behavior of gases. The behavior of ideal gases is described by five postulates that are presented in the following slides. The postulates are idealizations of the behavior of real gases. Real gases behave quite similar to ideal gases, but do not adhere as perfectly to the postulates which describe the ideal gases. We will assume gases to be ideal unless stated otherwise. Postulate 1. Gas particles, and they can be atoms or molecules, are in constant motion, moving in straight lines, and therefore possess kinetic energy. The faster their speed, the higher their kinetic energy. The collisions of gas particles with the walls of a container are the cause of the pressure exerted by a gas. Think about blowing up a balloon. Postulate 2. The average kinetic energy of the particles in a sample of gas is proportional to and only depends on its Kelvin temperature. It is the same for all gases at the same temperature. The higher the temperature, the higher the average kinetic energy of the particles. So here we have a low temperature and these vectors represent the velocity and they have a lower average kinetic energy. Over here, high temperature, longer velocity ve vectors which show that you have a higher average kinetic energy. The graph shows the distribution of the speeds of particles in a sample of gas at different temperatures. So over here, that's at zero Celsius. Graph comes up like this and then fades out like that. And notice as the temperature increases, the graph shifts over to the right. At any given temperature, the particles in the sample have a wide range of speeds. Yet, consistent with postulate two, the average speed of the particles is greater at higher temperatures. Postulate three, kinetic energy before equals kinetic energy after. Collisions between gas particles and between gas particles and the walls of a container are perfectly elastic. And in physics, you'll either learn or have learned that that means there is no loss of kinetic energy during collisions. Postulate four, gas particles are so small compared to the distances between them that the volume of the particles themselves can be neglected. So here's some gas particles here, they're very tiny. The volume of the particles is considered to be zero and the container is considered to be empty space through which the particles move. Gas particles only exert a force on one another when they collide. That's postulate five. The intermolecular forces are assumed to be so weak that the only force that the gas particles exert on one another or their container is during their elastic collisions. These forces are all repulsive. There are no attractive forces between the gas molecules or between the gas molecules and the container. 